this is Mahmoud Hassan Mehra's welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDWORKS today we are going to solve this 3D problem in this 3D problem this is the isometric view and all the dimensions are given in the isometric view so first of all I will start drawing from the top view in the top view I will draw a rectangle and this rectangle has a dimension of 100 by 45 then I will extrude was it to 19 unit and from the rectangle we can see we have a extrude cut surface here so in the front face i will draw a rectangle and this rectangle will be a dimension of 63 by 6 unit then i will extrude cut it to here okay first of all i am selecting the top plane now sketch now selecting the center rectangle placing the rectangle to the origin now dimension it to 45 by 100 unit now isometric it for a better view now go to features now stood boss now stood boss it to 19 unit now press ok after that it's time to cut a to cut rectangle here so i'm selecting the front face now sketch now normal to it now select the corner rectangle now place the corner rectangle here and now dimension it to 6 by 63 unit now isometric it for a better view now go to features and now it should cut now is to cut it to here now press ok now after that we can see here we have a rectangular shape also here and this rectangular shape has a vertical dimension of 19 plus 19 and a horizontal dimension of 19 multiplied by 2 because the radius of 19 so the horizontal distance will be 19 multiplied by 2 and from that for drawing this circular profile i will draw a circle of 19 radius then i will trim this extra portion and this extra line and after drawing this part then i will draw the slot this slot shape and this slot shape you can see that it has a dimension of 19 and the radius of the circle is 6.5 unit then i will extrude boss it to totally 19 unit so so i am selecting the back face now sketch now normal to it now i am selecting the corner rectangle placing the corner rectangle here and dimension it to 19 plus 19 uh, and also dimension here is 19 multiplied by 2 so after that we need to draw a circular profile here so i am using the circle because i will trim the letter later on so i am drawing a circle now i will use the trim option to trim this part now it's time for drawing the slot so select the straight slot and place the slot here and give the vertical dimension to 19 unit and give the horizontal dimension to 6.5 multiplied by 2 because the radius is 6.5 now press ok now isometric it for a better view now go to features and now is to boss now is to boss it to 19 unit now reverse the direction now press ok now after that we can see we have a incline line and this incline line is tangent to this circular profile so I will draw a tangent line here then I will convert into this this two line so it will make the close the shape so I am selecting the back face again now sketch now normal to it now select the line option and place the line to this point and draw a tangent okay when you have you will draw a tangent there will be tangent sign appear is it uh, our tangent sign has been appeared so click now it's time for closing the shape so i will use the convert entities to close the shape so i'm selecting this line and also selecting this line and this line and after selecting all the line use the convert entities now use the trim option and trim this extra line okay so now press ok now isometric it now go to features now stood boss now stood boss it to here you can see it has a stood boss of 10 unit so we will stood boss it to 10 unit 
now reverse the direction now press ok and now in the drawing we can see that we have two extrusion cycle here and two extrusion cycle one the bigger one is 20 diameter the smaller one is 10 diameter and they are apart from 19 unit from here and 19 unit from here so if we want to draw each circle manually then we have to first for the first circle we need to give the dimension this 19 unit manually so we don't want to give this 19 unit dimension manually so first of all i'll use the fillet option and this fillet option is 19 radius and from this fillet center point i'll draw this two circle okay let's let me demonstrate so first of all select the fillet option now dimension it to 19 unit okay now select this corner now press ok now select this upper face now sketch now normal to it and select the circle now when you hover hover in here you can see we can see the center point so this that's why we don't need to dimension manually so i have done fillet first so now give the dimension to 20 radius now i submit ticket for a better view now you can see it has a stood cut of six unit and we will extrude cut it to six units so go to features and now it's cut now it's to cut it to six unit after that we have another cycle here so select this interface now sketch now normal to it now again select circle and place the cycle to the center and dimension it to 10 diameter now I submit it for a better view now go to features now is to cut now is to cut it to through all you can pull the arrow now press ok so as you can see we have drawn our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different